Hello everyone and welcome back or welcome if it's your first time here and thank you all so much for being here and sharing this time with me. Now before we get into it as usual I'm just letting you know that I am giving personal readings right now so if you're interested in one of those feel free to send me an email and we can talk about rates and scheduling and I'm also doing in-person readings right now if you are in the area if you're interested just specifying the email. <laughs> All right, so what we're doing in today's video though is your pick a card to see what positive changes are coming in the year 2024. I'm recording this in December. You can technically watch later in 2024 if it is resonating. Just make sure that that's resonating with you. Um, we're already halfway through December, so it's right around the corner. So um, with that all being said, let's go ahead and get into your group selection. Hello and welcome to your group selection. So we have three groups to choose from today with three different crystals and I've gone ahead and shuffled your oracle cards for you. So for group one, we have some coral. All right, for group two, we have moonstone. And last but not least, for group three, we have some green calcite. All right, so as always, this is a general reading, so make sure to take what resonates, leave what does not, and use your own intuition and discernment throughout. And if you need more time to choose a group or groups that are resonating most with you, feel free to pause take some deep breaths, get a drink of water, whatever you need, but I will go ahead and start with group one. Hello, group one, those of you who chose the coral, let's see what positive changes are coming your way in the year 2024, which has come up real quick. So as I said in the beginning, if you're interested in a personal reading, just send me an email. Now your first card is a blessing to find your way. So if there's some area of life or take it as it resonates, multiple areas, or just life in general where you're feeling, I'm a little lost. I'm not sure which way to go. I'm not sure what way's the right way, all those kind of questions. I'm, I'm seeing the Seven of Cups as I'm reading this for you, so I do feel like some of you are like, what's the right choice? What's the best choice? There might be some situation where you just have to make the best, most informed choice that you can now, even if it's not the perfect choice, even if it's not like you have the perfect 100%, I know this will work out. You might just have to make, what do they say? Like like an educated guess. <laughs> and I know for some of you, it's, it's bigger stuff than that. If it's big life-changing things, of course you can take your time. But what I am seeing is it's the energy where at some point we do have to make decisions. We do have to say, I'm gonna move in this direction, even if there's no way to be 100% sure. That's the energy I'm seeing for you. <laughs> Take it if it resonates, but that is what I'm seeing for you. Now with a blessing to find your way, if you specifically have been like racking your brain, you're like, I have no idea what to do. And I'm thinking about it, thinking about it. I'm trying my best. And I feel like there could just be some kind of epiphany moment or some kind of like communication or news that comes through where something just clicks. There's that missing puzzle piece that actually makes everything make sense in some area where you're like, I don't know which way to go. I don't know which way is even forward at this point. And then it's like a little, like metaphorically, like yeah, like a compass. You can actually figure out which way to go or like maybe a, a map would have been a better <laughs> way to do that or both. Maybe you had the map, you're missing the compass. I love Zelda. If you play Zelda, <laughs> you got to find both to find your way through the dungeon. But, um, it could be like you have certain things figured out, but if you would just have those missing pieces, I feel like that's what's coming through is even for some of you, if you feel like you're on the right path, but you might be doubting it. That's what I'm getting for some of you is a blessing to find your way is more like realizing you're already doing a lot of things right. Yes, maybe you want to tweak your approach a little bit. Maybe you want to add something new. I know I'm thinking that energy recently is like, feeling like you're on the right path, but you wanna change the approach, you wanna add something new, you wanna spice it up, things like that, where I feel like group one, you would do well to give yourself credit in 2024 for the things you're, you're doing pretty well at this point. We have a blessing on a homecoming. So if you were wanting to change homes, if you were wanting to move, or if you specifically have a trip 
to your hometown. I do feel like now I know everyone has different relationships with home and family, <laughs> but what I'm seeing for you is that it's working out in your favor for your greatest and highest good. So go in with the best of intentions, of course, I'm sure you are, and then I'm seeing that working out for you. So maybe for some of you, it could even be metaphorically speaking, a homecoming, you could be returning to something in the past in order to kind of heal that within yourself. That really just like hit when I said that for a lot of you, like an exhale. I felt like I really needed to breathe and exhale and release something. So I do feel this could be more tangibly for some of you, but I read these intuitively and what I'm seeing for the majority of you is going back, realizing something about your upbringing. Maybe it's really, really heavy. Maybe it's weighing on you. Maybe you've even, it can happen where you've healed something before and it still may come up again. It may revisit. It doesn't mean you're doing everything wrong. It just means sometimes healing is hard. That's what I'm seeing for you, a blessing on a homecoming. So, ooh, a blessing for healing of injury or illness. So see my disclaimers below. I cannot be a replacement for a doctor or some kind of professional like that. But if you are on a healing journey, this one has been coming through, honestly, no matter which deck I pick, something about healing and overall wellness and feeling good in your body has been coming through. So there must be a part of the collective. Do everything that you can, use your own discernment, see the professionals you need to if that's the path you're taking. But I do feel like you could be talking to the right people, getting the right treatment and feeling a lot better in 2024. Even if you're not specifically ill, I would take this as a card of feeling really good in your body. And this is, of course, as well, this can be from the choices you're making. It doesn't have to be some kind of miraculous, you wake up and just feel better. I feel a lot of you are making really, really good choices for your overall health and well-being in 2024. And this can be mental and emotional health as well. This can be healthy relationships too. We have success. Ooh, <laughs> nice. Success, it's true, belongs to me. Success with honor and integrity. So I am seeing success and abundance coming your way. If you are a businessy person, I do feel like work, business, money, finances, those would be going pretty well for you. Um, I'm not going to hold up each card again, but you have a lot of green. So I am seeing for some of you that will resonate as heart healing, like you'll be feeling a lot of love. If you work with chakras, you'll feel your heart chakras very open, balanced, healthy, <laughs> however you want to word that. But for others of you, that could be an invitation to really get out in nature, do some kind of nature based, um, like go on a walk, hug a tree, something like that, working with um, herbs, plant medicine, things like that, whatever resonates with you to each their own. Um, what else is coming through there? But success, yes. It's not always just about money. If you're someone who couldn't care less about money, um, you're fine where you're at and you're not really looking to grow in money in that kind of way. This can be about the feeling of abundance, the feeling of being very, very provided for and not really feeling like anything is really missing in your immediate surroundings. You're like, I'm good, <laughs> like I'm feeling fine. Um, that looks really nice. Your spread looks really nice. I know we were looking for specifically like positive changes and blessings, but overall I do feel this is gonna be a really healing year based on like growth. I am seeing a lot of nature imagery for you and sometimes, you know what I'm seeing? Like what just came to me? I was thinking of like growth and I was thinking of a tree growing or some kind of plant growing. So if the plant's doing everything it can to be growing and it's just like the sun hasn't come out or something, you don't blame the plant, do you? <laughs> it's like, God, I wish the sun would come out. And sometimes in our lives, the sun isn't really out. And you may think like, that sucks. I wish it was. But if 2024 is your year where the sun comes out again and you're feeling like a better version of yourself and you just feel like it's a year of growth, then I would welcome that. I would welcome that even if in the past you've been let down, you've been hurt, you've had a hard time with your healing journey, you've had a hard time with your health in general, feeling a little lost, feeling like you weren't making the abundance and money you wanted or needed. I just feel like 2024 is where a lot of that starts improving at once. I feel a more all-encompassing energy for you. Now your last card here is trust. I am safe, I am secure. In love I trust, my faith endures. So yes, trust, <laughs> but also I feel like proof. 
that's what I'm getting is maybe in the past year, you may still be challenged to work on trusting that things will work out for the better. Oh yes, I'm sure this is all for my greatest and highest good and my best interest, but where's the evidence of that? You know, sometimes we go through those. I feel like 2023 was that year for a lot of us, you know, where you can work on the spiritual stuff, you can work on trusting yourself, trusting others, trusting the universe, whatever you believe in, but then at a certain point, you kind of want a little bit of Where's, where's the evidence? <laughs> where's, what is the truth? And that's what I'm seeing for you. In 2024, I feel like it's going to be easier to trust. I feel like the past year has been a challenge to trust because where in the hell is the evidence? <laughs> that's what I'm seeing for you is that trust paying off because now once you actually start to see some results, you actually start to see some evidence, it's going to be way easier to trust than your abilities. And that's what I saw from your first card, I do feel 2024, you're going to learn to trust yourself, trust your discernment, trust your intuition, and trust your abilities. Because I was getting that some of you actually have, and you're probably going to be shaking your head no, and that's okay, but I do feel a lot of you have a lot more figured out right now than you're giving yourself credit for just because where are the results? But results are not everything, and I get that they're important and that we want them and we need them sometimes to pay our bills <laughs> if it's abundance related. Or if you're working on your healing and you're getting messages that it'll be fine, but like, where's the results? You still feel so tired. Um, I really do feel sometimes it's not a one to one ratio of I'm putting in the work and I'm working on myself and I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing, but sometimes the results just aren't really showing up. And I feel that 2024 is much more of a results year for you. Ooh, that was a lot. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to exhale. Um, that is what I have for you, group one. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Hello, group two. Those of you who chose the Moonstone, let's see what positive changes are coming your way in 2024. So your first card is a blessing on your sleep. And I was doing a lot of breathing <laughs> before getting into your group. And I felt like, yes, I'm trying to calm myself down, but the energy of your group just feels so much more calm. So if 2023 was very chaotic. On the one hand, I feel like 2024 will be less chaotic for you, but I'm going to be honest, I feel like part of that is because you may have learned some really good coping techniques, some like ways to feel better no matter what's going on. Like, oh, pe okay, people are going to have their opinions, people are going to do the most or the least, but I'm still going to do what I can to find my peace. That's what I'm seeing for you is like, yes, sometimes we wish we could control what's going on in the world, what other people have going on, but I feel like you've gotten really good at finding your peace no matter what is going on. And I feel like overall it will be easier to find that as well. So yes, every year is going to have ups and downs, but I feel like it's going to be less chaotic. And even when there are like ups or downs, however you'd like to put it, I feel like you'd be handling, I feel like you're handling stress really well. So as much as this is positive changes coming to you. I feel like for some of you, if you're hearing this, if <laughs> you're hearing this and you're like, that sounds good, but I'm not really working on that yet. If that's something you'd like to work on, I would start working on that now because I see that working really well for you. I see that working out really, really well in your favor in 2024 is if you start working on like, what do I need to feel calm? What do I need to feel safe in my safe place? Some of you, it could even be like, um, if you feel like your nervous system's all over the place and you get a phone call and it feels like there's a meteor shower coming, you're like, that's not really proportionate. <laughs> I feel like you could be working on like a, a better base state of feeling more calm. Um, but it could also just be sleep related. <laughs> Those were all the intuitive messages that come through. That's how I read. It's like, I see this, what's the imagery, what's coming through. You have moon imagery, you chose the moonstone overall. For me, it's feeling very, very at peace, as well as in a good way, very in your own inner world. I feel like you're listening to your intuition. And it's kind of like the image I'm getting for you, 2024, you may see a lot of moon and moon and water based, especially ocean signs, symbols, synchronicities. So maybe you work with some kind of moon or ocean, water, deity, lakes, whatever, but I'm feeling mostly ocean. Um, what I'm seeing for you is like, think of doing divination 
on a water surface, what I'm seeing is like, it's gotta be clear like glass. It's gotta be clear like a mirror. That's what I'm seeing is you're gonna get to a much more calm state. Whereas right now, if everything that happens around you causes, and I feel this, I feel very, very seen as well as attacked by this reading right now, is if you get to that base state of like, this is, this feels like me. I'm not as affected by what's going on around me. Whether you care or not is a different thing, but not as heavily impacted in a negative way. Finding your peace, the waters are still, then you can really, really listen to your intuition. That's how I'm seeing it coming through for you is getting to a very peaceful state of mind so you can receive those messages from a place of clarity. And whether or not you work with your intuition, that's what I'm seeing is you coming from a place of stillness and clarity. Wow. <laughs> and the messages for you also, I like to tell people how they come through sometimes. Your intuitive messages are coming through very clearly for like a pick a card. Um, so I feel like that's connecting to the fact that we are connecting to the energy of stillness, clarity, then listening to your intuition because that's what I'm feeling from your energy. Now we have a blessing to heal a relationship. I might burp, might not. So if there is some relationship that you want to heal, that you want to mend, this could be with someone who you want to still have them in your life, but it's a blessing to heal a relationship. Some of you may be healing from a relationship. You need to take this one as it resonates definitely because it's not to say you need to let someone back in your life if they hurt you. It is not about that. It's about healing that relationship. So if right now you need to heal from a relationship or you need to heal the relationship from your, with yourself because of something with someone else, you can take it that way. But if you are wanting to just have let's say better communication with someone, more openness, more vulnerability. You want them to do more of the things you need to feel safe, loved and taken care of. I feel like you're communicating very well in 2024. The fact that we have this means that it's something that is within, like you are capable of this. You can do what you need to do to heal this relationship. And if you're waiting for someone to be open, I am a, I am a free will kind of person. So I would say that it looks like they would be capable of this. They need to be willing though. So <laughs> they have the means to do so. So if someone's saying like, I can't be open, blah, blah, blah. It might just be something that takes a little more effort for them in 2024, which is the year we're coming to already. We have a blessing for solace and hope. Okay, so there might've been some things going on in 2023, which, you know, I get it. <laughs> a lot of us were in that place where you see so many things going on, you might've had a lot of disappointments. It might've just been a very, what I'm getting for you is that 2023, and I know a lot of people feel this way, but for you, it feels like the cards are coming through for you because of this year being rather chaotic and exhausting for you. So as much as these are the blessings and the positive changes coming your way, I'm feeling like it's really important to meet them halfway for you. Like if you want the blessing on your sleep, make sure you're doing everything you can to welcome that blessing. If you're wanting to heal a relationship with someone and yourself, making sure you're doing whatever is within your power to lay the groundwork for that, if that makes sense, to welcome that blessing to come through. Because if that energy is there for you, and you know, let's just an example, but we want to heal this relationship and it's about communication for you. Are you communicating? Okay, so that's where we're welcoming the blessing. That's what I mean by that. If you're saying, God, I wish I was getting better sleep and you're like me and you're going to bed at three in the morning. Maybe we stop doing that. <laughs> So take that as it resonates, um, as well as things for your peace. Like if aromatherapy, if working with certain crystals, like my goodness, I've, I've been feeling very seen by this reading. Like um, if you know amethyst works really well for you with sleep, connecting to your dreams in a positive way, a lot of you may be getting messages through your dreams in 2024. So if you want to start doing a dream journal, I feel that would be really, really helpful for you. Moon magic um, as well, manifesting on like, people do manifesting on the new moon, I think, and releasing on the full moon. However it resonates with you though, you do you. <laughs> but yeah, 
if you know, like for instance, for me, it's amethyst. Amethyst is so helpful for calming me down, getting me right to sleep more or less. And yet how many times do I like just ignore it? <laughs> so that's what I'm seeing is like, if you know the answer, or you know the certain direction you want to move, I would welcome the blessing. And that's a really nice way of say, saying, make sure you're continuing to put the effort in. That's the, <laughs> that's the spiritual reader way of saying, make sure you're putting in the work as well and not just saying, where's my blessing, where's my blessing? Okay, so it, it does look like if there's some area, <laughs> we got on a long message tangent where you're like, I've kind of lost hope, like, Am I ever going to be able to improve in this way? Am I ever going to be able to get a, a good night's sleep? Am I ever going to be able to listen to my intuition, to use my discernment? I feel like things are, for you, it does feel gradual. With this, I am seeing like kind of a snowball effect, but in a good way where things are gradually getting, like you can really trust yourself a little bit more. The last group got trust. I'm feeling that for you as well with this card specifically, like, the way she's bundled up for me, it feels like some of you are having a hard time getting out of your shell, getting out of your cocoon in some way, but that's understandable because look around here, it's cold. <laughs> so it might take time to adjust. You don't have to like rip off the band-aid, so to speak. Your next card is victory. I shall celebrate and I shall rise. I will let victory make me wise. So I do feel that things are turning out in your favor in a general sense because you have the victory card. <laughs> so what are the positive changes? And with hope, it feels like maybe this past year or decade or whatever it was, you might have had a lot of little things that chipped away at you. And I feel like it would be really good for you heading into this year, or if you're already watching this during 2024, take a moment to just like feel how it feels. To have those little things chipping away at you and chipping away at you and people telling you you're not good enough and things not working out feeling like you failed, etc. Even if you can look at the brighter side and you are a pretty optimistic, hopeful person, most of the time at least, <laughs> you don't have to be optimistic all the time or like, um, like what is it, like um, toxic positivity. You don't have to be like that to be a positive person. Um, you can be realistic and still be hopeful. But what I'm seeing is it's gonna be so much easier. This is a little similar to the last group, but for you, it's going to be easier to be hopeful for your future once some things actually start looking up, um, looking up and working out for you because it feels like if the victory card is coming through specifically, I feel like there is some area. Maybe it's, it could be specifically because this is on top of the sleep card. So if you feel like you haven't been getting good sleep, then it's just like, wearing down on you like if you haven't slept well for the past three years on and off give or take you're probably exhausted <laughs> and it might be helpful to just say i'm exhausted without the but i should not feel that way i should get better i should do this and that without the should and shouldn't how do you feel how do you feel do you feel worn down do you feel disappointed let yourself actually feel how you're feeling that's what i'm getting with you with this like moon imagery as well. I do feel like maybe that's something that you just need to say, this is how I'm feeling. Let it go through you. Let it go. If you need to cry, absolutely. But it looks like a lot more things are going to be working out that in the past you felt like where your little things chipping away at you, you're going to have little victories building up. I am seeing victories in the smaller things because that's specifically the way it's coming through is these little things that were chipping away at you start to become little things day by day that work out and this works out and this little step towards my goal worked out and it's getting easier to be positive and to attract more success from that state of feeling successful. So we have harmony. As I create, I will share harmony and divine with love and care. So you have a relationship card and you have harmony. So overall, the way this is coming through is that I'm seeing harmony in your relationships. Now, I did say if you're on the journey of just like self-love, this would be harmony within those different parts of yourself. Whether you want to label them as good or bad, positive, whatever, or just different. That's what I'm seeing for you is like you have different parts of yourself. <laughs> Maybe some of them are a little harder to deal with, but they're all part of you. So if there's parts of you that you want to improve on, that's great. But I'm seeing like when we do shadow work, I feel like it's really important to say this is part of me. 
even if it's like not the prettiest. <laughs> this is part of who I am and I still love myself. I still accept myself. I can still want to learn and grow to be the best version of myself, but I still have, this is still me. The, the you that's you right now is still you. Okay. But yes, with other people, relationship harmony. I'm seeing overall 2020, I almost said six. 2024 is going to be a lot of relationship harmony for you. It can be romantic. You could be meeting someone. It could be a little like lovey-dovey romantic. But if you're not ready for that or you don't feel like you want that, you could be meeting some good friends. Like I'm seeing a good friend group. Now, I know not everyone's super social, but if people come your way and the vibe is good, I feel like overall it's it's creating more harmony within your life where you have a lot of different, that's what it is. Or if you feel like maybe there was something just a little wrong or more than a little wrong in several areas of your life, you felt like my life right now is like it's feeling very dissonant. Like these things, they're just not meshing well. My sleep is not good. And then it's spiraling from there. My relationships are affected. My self-love is affected. That's what I'm seeing. Yes, <laughs> that snowball effect. It's like as one of these things get better, you're very resilient, very resourceful. So you're getting more and more energy you're able to listen more to your intuition, you're able to make better choices for yourself and then your relationships improve. That's what I'm seeing for you, is there's lots of areas of your life improving little by little, so it starts to like, to like shine and these areas resonate more with each other. Like you make your, your uh, friendships start to improve and then you feel better about what you're doing for work or something like that and then you sleep better at night. That's what it is. <laughs> so I feel like these different areas of your life that are improving are actually improving together. That may sound strange if you feel like they're not related, but go into it with an open mind. <laughs> that's what I'll say, because that's what I'm seeing is they're building on each other. Each area improving is helping to improve these other areas, even if they don't seem related for you. That's why I was specifically getting, I know we want to hear big victories all the time, but I'm specifically hearing small victories for you. That's what it's really, really important to say for you in 2024 is welcoming these small improvements and small victories because they're building, building, building in several different areas. Okay, now it all makes sense. <laughs> and by the way, the reading itself did mirror that because we got like the last, like this is the overarching picture at the last second of your reading. <laughs> it all accumulated or built up to something in the end. And that's what I'm seeing. So oh, <laughs> I'm happy for you. Little victories, welcome them, appreciate them. You're trying your best, okay? So that is what I have for you, group two. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Hello, group three, last but not least, those of you who chose the green calcite, let's see what positive changes are coming your way in the year 2024, we are already there. We're almost there, depending on where you're watching, when you're watching. So your first card is a blessing for peace of mind. And for you, I'm actually going to show you your first three cards because I took a little peek <laughs> and they're playing together in the most beautiful way. We have a blessing of fire, peace of mind, and then fire. And then a blessing on your boundaries. So what's going on here? So if we've got boundaries, fire, and peace of mind, 2024 is the year for you to really, really embrace your inner warrior. If you would like to find a different word, then find the word that works best for you. But what I'm going to say is embracing your inner warrior, setting those boundaries. What am I tolerating in 2024 and what am I not tolerating? And then here's the important part, <laughs> group three, and I get it, it's hard sometimes. If you love people, if you want to keep them in your life, whatever it is, or if being honest is just hard for you, but enforcing them because there's blessings coming for you on your peace of mind, you having a lot of energy, having a lot of inspiration, but you know what you have to do is you have to protect that peace. You have to protect your passion. You have to protect your energy and your inner fire. This is the year where wherever it is within your power, you do not let people drain your energy for no reason, for whatever reason, just because, oh, they're my insert relationship here. If it's not good for you, it's not good for you. 
if they're not giving you anything in return, if they're not even respecting you. This is the year where you stop feeling like a mean person for setting like these little boundaries because boundaries are about you and what you will and will not tolerate in your life. So <laughs> use your discernment there. Of course, use your discernment. This is not to say you need to cut everyone out in your life, unless that's how you're feeling. But I am seeing it's really a year to get very clear on your boundaries. If you're watching this in December, perfect. Write them down before the year starts. I'm not joking. <laughs> like write them down. And this is, oh my God, I've been vibing so much with the groups today. So I feel you. But it's like if you've been wondering why is my mind all over the place? Why does it feel so chaotic? Why can't I even get my thoughts straight? Why do I feel scattered? Why do I feel drained? Loss of inspiration. Call your energy back to you. Where is your energy going out or being drained where you're getting zero things back and call your energy back? That's what I'm seeing. For some of you, it can be boundaries about Again, it's about you. <laughs> Boundaries being about you, it's really important. So if you are constantly thinking of uh, this past relationship or something, I would see, of course, take that as it resonates. But for example, if you're constantly thinking about like this high school relationship you've had and it was toxic, it was terrible, it impacted you. But if you're thinking about it all day, every day, it might be time to start working on that so you can heal that and set better boundaries with, I am not gonna let myself think about this for six hours a day. I've got other stuff to do. I've got other things I do care about, okay? Because that's what I'm seeing for you is this blessing of fire as I feel like if you're working on your passions, if you're working on what really gets you like, <laughs> not to sound too corny, but fired up, what you're really passionate about, as well as this fire for me feels like spiritual gifts. I feel like you can really help to heal people in some way. That's what I'm seeing, like your fire, your magnetism. I'm getting like queen of wands energy from her right now. That is regardless of gender, by the way. <laughs> Um, you don't have to be a queen to enjoy that message. <laughs> but I feel like that's what we really want to get to the point where you're focusing on in 2024. And for some of you, that may take time. But that's why that's coming through is this is important for you. This is important to you. This is what you care about. You want to have an impact. You want to help others. You want to uplift others. You want to express yourself. I feel like some of you are artists as well. If you're not an artist, you have artistic talent. I'm just going to tell you. <laughs> group three, um, this is way different than the other two groups because this is very like 2024 is like, I've got to set boundaries on my time, energy, um, my mental health, my relationships, because you've got more important things to do than like take care of other people's bullshit. <laughs> like that's what I'm seeing. And I'm going to put it that harshly because that's the energy that we're embodying here for you in 2024. It's like, she's like, no, don't come at me with that. <laughs> she's holding it in a very defensive way as well, at least from what I can see. So no one's going to run into that. Just think, take this metaphor. No one's going to run into that unless she's like, no, don't touch me. And then they try to hug her anyway. <laughs> so does that make sense? That's like the perfect metaphor for this. If you set a bare minimum boundary and someone's like, no, okay, well, maybe they're going to cut the edge of that. <laughs> maybe they're going to hit the edge of that blade. You might have some words for them. I would see 2024 really good year to stick up for yourself, to stick up for yourself in a way that you... You might feel like you're being harsh, but I'm going to be honest, group three. I'm vibing with you right here. What you deem as harsh might just be honest in a very healthy way. Like if someone is disrespecting you and you say, don't disrespect me, <laughs> I'm not going to tolerate this. You might be someone who thinks, was I too harsh? Was I too mean? No, you were standing up for yourself. So we have authenticity. Yes, beautiful. Who I truly am is good indeed. I am authentic in thought, word, and deed. So this is you finding yourself, yes, and then letting that shine out. However you see fit. For some of you, yeah, with that, that blessing of fire and I said queen of wands energy, some of you could be rethinking your look. Now this could just be the way you're expressing yourself, so take that part as it resonates, but this would be a really good year if you're feeling it 
to reinvent your look, your persona, your brand. I feel like you're really saying, this is how I've always wanted to dress, but I was so worried about what other people would think. I've always wanted to do my hair in this fun way and put flowers in my hair and beads and things like that. I try a fun hairstyle, color, whatever it is. I feel like maybe you're someone who was, now this is about the good things coming, so I won't, I won't go too deep with it, but if you, because I did mention like a past scenario for you, there may be something that happened where someone made you feel like you shouldn't express yourself, that Queen of Wands energy, Blessing of Fire energy is what I'm getting here. That would be an energy that if someone isn't very secure in themselves, they may say like, you're too much. So I feel like for some of you, you heard like, you're too much, you're too loud, you're too extra. Why are you dressing like that? Just to, you're just trying to get attention, things like that. Like, I feel like you heard negative things about your expression, just who you are, your personality. Like if you've got quirks, weird spiritual side, you're the person who likes to wear all these like flowy prints and stuff like that. People say that's distracting, that's so much. If that's how you wanna dress, that's how you wanna dress. Group three, dress how you want, <laughs> okay? Dress how you want, do your hair how you want. It's your, your body, okay? Authenticity, so if some of you feel like you're still on that journey to who am I, how do I want to express myself, then welcome those conversations but also think, do I have any blocks with that? Because I feel like for some of you that's coming through as a blessing coming through in 2024 is getting past any blocks to your authenticity and then past that, <laughs> blocks to finding your authenticity if, if you have any blocks to expressing that authenticity. As long as it's safe, if it's just coming down to what if someone stares, what if someone has an opinion, um, I hope I'm not the first one to break this to you, group three, but people are going to have opinions. <laughs> I'm dealing with that right now, group three. People are going to have opinions and you can still express yourself. You can still dress the way you choose. You can still paint your nails like a different color for each finger. And if someone has a problem with that, maybe they should do some soul searching. <laughs> so we have romance. Romance, it is a sacred power. Let it come to me this hour. Now, this may resonate differently whether you are in a relationship or if you're single, but it does look like this is a good time for you dating-wise, meeting different people. If you're in a relationship, I might not take this part of the message, but I would see you kind of testing the waters, see what works out. What I'm seeing for you, and you don't have to date around just because I said so in a reading. <laughs> of course, do what you want. We're talking about that. We're talking about you expressing yourself, setting your boundaries. But if you so choose, especially with what I was picking up as Queen of Wands, energy, authenticity, all that fire, and having really beautiful boundaries, this is what I will and will not accept. That applies to love. <laughs> that applies to love and that applies to like passion, you know, like passion. <laughs> so that could be what we're talking about with boundaries as well, is that you're kind of having a very fun year, but make sure you, yeah, make sure you have your boundaries really strong. You can have a really fun year where you're really expressing your most authentic self. Um, but yeah, have boundaries with that. If you notice that someone starts to give you insults to side, uh, disguised as compliments, maybe we talk to them less if they can't be happy for you. Let's see what else is coming through. Yeah, and if you feel like, if you're in a relationship and you feel like that spark has died down a little, I've, I feel that this next year is gonna feel a little more sparky. You may be revisiting your honeymoon phase. <laughs> you may both be putting in like a lot more effort into yourselves as well as the relationship saying like, let's go out for a fun date. We haven't gone on a fun date. We haven't gone here since we first started dating. Oh, remember when we used to do that? <laughs> I didn't mean for that to sound spicy, but <laughs> take it as it as it fits. Um, let's see. Overall, I feel like you, there's a big focus on having a lot of fun. So however that resonates for you, and of course this is again, this is about your expression and your passion, so that's going to look very different, but I would safely... Uh, maybe try to make some more bold choices if the only thing that's been holding you back is oh what are people gonna think or 
what if it doesn't work out? What if it doesn't look good? What if I'm delusional and I think it looks good in the mirror and you walk out the door? Try some new things, try some new things. I'm getting that energy of like the fool where we like try some new beginnings, be a little optimistic, test the waters, okay? That's what I said with the romance card. I'm feeling that not just with other people, but I would test the waters. You know, if you don't want to completely dye your hair a certain color, maybe try to find like an app or something that'll show you. That's, that's like strange. I don't know that I've gotten that message, but testing the waters. Yes. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing for you. That was a really interesting one. <laughs> like groups one and two were way similar and yours was like, woo, new direction. But you had that, that fire energy. I don't know. Like you're not always meant to blend into the crowd. I know that's frustrating. I'll leave you on this. I know that's frustrating when you feel like, why can't I just fit in? Why can't I just go with the flow? You're not, for better or for worse, or both at the same time, for easier or more friction, you're not always meant to fit in and look exactly like everyone else and do exactly what everyone else is doing. So if people give you a hard time, it doesn't always mean that you're doing something wrong, <laughs> okay? So that's what I have for you. Like I'm really, really in the most loving way, like pushing towards like, yes, be your, be your like baddest self in like a good way, like go for it and set those boundaries, okay? So that's what I have for you. I feel like I was really corny <laughs> in that last part, but that's what I have for you, group three. Thank you so much. I'm wishing you a really beautiful new year and I will see you next time.